Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is time to plan for August. I am going ahead at this time and taking off all of the appointments that I know that I have and sticking them to the side. These are my planner notes. I talked about them in the July Plan With Me video. If you have not yet seen that, go ahead and check it out. It just helps me keep track of everything that I want to put down in my calendar as I'm planning out. And I found them to be very helpful. I'm really excited to go back to my yearly spread and content finish planning for 2021. I have to plan out from August through December. And so I'm using these Planner Kate transparent dots to help me do that. So what I do is I choose a color for a specific date. When I put the dot down, you can see the actual date through the sticker. And then I go ahead and take that same color and I use it in the key that is on the left side of the page. And then I mark down what that particular color is for. I really love using these in my yearly planning. Here I am getting out the open transparent circles from Planner Kate and the reason that I like to use these is because sometimes I will have events that overlap. So here for example during the Thanksgiving holidays I used one specific color to show that there was no school that week but then I went ahead and used one of the open circles to notate that it to notate Thanksgiving Day. I'm also going to do the same thing for Christmas Eve, Christmas and New Year's Eve. Now it is time for the fun part. It is time to lay down my August stickers for the month. The theme is lemons as you can see and it is using a lot of yellows blues and greens it is so very cute I absolutely love this theme and so I'm using the planner Kate kit 339 and the sticker pages are h1 h2 and h3 I'm going to go ahead and put all of my headers on date stickers sidebar and I will get my bills page ready for the month along with my dashboard. Now that everything is set up, I am going to use my planner notes that I have to the side 
to determine on what days I have appointments and other events. So that is what I'm going to do now. I'm also going to fill in my daughter's work schedule, other things like my husband's shift work schedule, paydays, etc. These cute little work stickers came in my last Planner Kate order. I've said this before, but Planner Kate always does so well with sending in, sending little samples in your orders, and this was one of them. I've never received this bef these before, and I've been using little work stickers often, so I really love that they were included. It's time to work on my sideboard. I am using the Planner Kate check boxes. What I'm going to do is use a check box each for an activity that I want to make sure to get done during this month. And once I complete it, I will check it off. Now that I've completed my sidebar, I am moving on to the next pages, which are my bills page and my dashboard. I like to decorate sometimes with the stickers from the plant, the Erin Condren sticker book, monthly sticker book, which is available on erincondren.com. The stickers this month are really cute. I'm going to be filling in the dashboard with some goals, some YouTube projects that I'd like to accomplish for August, some books that I am currently reading and want to read, and my habits. As I've said before, the monthly planner gives a lot of notebook type blank pages within each month and I have found through experience over the last several months that I just don't use all of them. So right now I am going to take out I think two of them and it gives me 
the right amount of space that I need to put in my items of the month. Here I am going to lay down some washi and I'm going to um, use this for what I've been using this for the past few months and that is to put in some items I am looking to purchase, writing in my coupon codes for the month, any packages I'm waiting on, and I'm also going to be going to the next page and using that for house projects and the Bible in a year plan that I'm following. I hope you've enjoyed my August planning. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have not yet subscribed, I would love to encourage you to do so. I hope that I have given you some inspiration for your planning this month. And I hope to see you next time. Bye, everyone. <music>